boom. I'll do it again. Biggity, boom. Have no fear. The Gringo Mandingo is here. The name is Michael Rappaport, a.k.a. the Gringo Mandingo. A.k.a. the White Chocolate Tito. A.k.a. the Inflamed Ashkenazi. A.k.a. the Disruptive Warrior. A.k.a. Mr. 212. A.k.a. Mr. New York. And you are now rocking with the very, very best. The name is Michael Rappaport. This is the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. Welcome to the... Iron Dome of Disruption, the Ziggity Zone of Disruption. I'm back, boom, back in a New York groove. Glad to be back in New York. Beautiful day for podcasting in New York City. Today is President's Day, and it is like it's damn near 50 degrees in New York. And uh, since I'm a full-time New Yorker now, we really, really appreciate 47, 41 degrees, like 41 degrees when you wake up and it's like 41 degrees, you're like, yo, I'm going out banana hammock style, Central Park. It's a gorgeous day in February here in New York. And it is President's Day, President's Day weekend. I was thinking about the significance of President's Day and how the bar <clears throat> has gotten so low on President's Day, and, and with all the cancellation, all the cancel culture this, cancel culture that, they've pretty much canceled Columbus Day. No disrespect to the great Christopher uh, Wallace, uh, but the only, uh, the only Christopher that we celebrate is Christopher Wallace Day, not Columbus Day. Um, and, and all the, you know, sort of understanding the real history of Columbus Day. Why are we still celebrating President's Day? When you think about the history of the presidents of the United States, we have slave owners, we have scumbags, we have uh, cheaters, we have just diabolical sick fucks, we have draft dodgers, we have um, a guy now where it's Damn near six dollars to get a, a tank of gas. Six dollars to get a uh, a gallon of gas. Smoking Joe Biden, cadaver Joe Biden. We have one corrupt person after one senile person after cheaters after people getting their cock sunk after Donald Trump. Like I said, slave owners. But no one complains about taking that President's Day long weekend. Why? When are we going to cancel President's Day? Because becoming a president now, it's kind of like pin the tail on the donkey. We got uh, Logan Paul, brother of Jake Paul, says that he wants to run for president when he turns 35. We got Hillary looming saying she's going to come back. Pig dick Donald Trump, he's, he's right there, looming. Just like in the background trying to figure out if he could get in there, flushing documents down the toilet and all that stuff. Really, the standards and the sort of eliteness of a president have been squandered. And it isn't just pig dick. Bill Clinton, dollar Bill Clinton, we all know what he was doing. He's freaking off. This is the only thing he got caught for. Monica Lewinsky is the only blowjob that he got caught for. I, I would bet my bottom dollar that there's more than one Monica Lewinsky. You think that Monica Lewinsky was the only one that gave him brain? You think that Monica Lewinsky was the only one that gave him dome? No. No, there's, there's more. There's more out there. Um, but... I think that needs to be up for consideration. We canceled Columbus Day, but you still take the, still take the day off. I don't see anybody going to work because they're so up in arms about Columbus Day. They just they complain about it on social media, but still take the day off. When are we going to cancel President's Day? Because the bar has been squandered. Bush 
the father Bush. I mean, I, I don't know the history. I mean, Ronald Reagan, I don't know. He, he was dementia. His wife, Nancy Reagan, obviously the throat goat. That came out a couple of months ago. Did you know that, Dave? That Nancy Reagan, uh, former first lady, she apparently was the throat goat. I didn't know that. I didn't know that uh, she was known as that, 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 uh, the blowjob queen, Nancy Reagan. No disrespect. I, di I didn't. Listen, I never got any dome from Nancy Reagan, but apparently uh, during their days at Hollywood, in Hollywood, Nancy Reagan, she'd give you that good brain. Um, so happy President's Day. Happy President's Day. No matter what side you're on, whether you like cadaver Joe Biden, whether you don't like cadaver Joe Biden, let's go, Brandon. Whether you like pig dick Donald Trump, happy President's Day. Happy President's Day week because you got a four-day week. It's a, it's a national holiday. It's a fucking national holiday. Celebrate these presidents. Um... But I'm glad to be here. I was in Boston and Manchester, Connecticut. I like Boston. I was, I was in Boston. I was walking around Boston. Uh, obviously, I didn't see the whole city. Boston is a nice place. A lot of history. A lot of presidents. Uh, John Quincy Adams or some other one that's from there. 